Welcome to my 300 pound DIY heat pump project. Portable heat pumps are the most efficient way, most cost efficient way to heat your house. However, there are a couple of hacks that I know that can make them even more efficient. Portable heat pumps seem to be primarily designed as air conditioners with heat pump functions tacked on at the end. All air conditioners or heat pumps have an evaporative cooler propeller to spray condensate over the condenser. In air conditioning mode, this is a useful feature as it gets rid of the condensate and avoids the need for a separate drain connection and it increases cooling performance. In heating mode, we don't want this. Yet on my heat pump, the propeller would still spin, even in heating mode. And this reduced the heat output and humidifies the house. When in heating mode, look up the drain port to check for a spinning propeller. To fix this, I simply put a paper clip up the drain port to stop the propeller spinning. One problem with these portable heat pumps is that they are a bit dumb and they don't have the temperature sensors or the uh, programming that they need to operate efficiently in all situations. And when the outside temperature is below freezing and the heat pump is in a drafty garage like this, then the fan speed is fixed and the, the airflow through the cold radiator can be too fast. And what can happen is that the air exhausted by the heat pump can be warmer than the air that's sucked back into the house. And in effect, what happens then is the heat pump's actually cooling the house instead of heating it. Uh, the manual says, make sure no cold air from outside the room can enter the room for this reason. In a drafty garage like this, it isn't always possible to do that, but what you can do instead is you can put a restrictor film on the input to the cold side. Uh, this lowers the cold output temperature, allowing it to work efficiently at sub-zero temperatures. I recommend putting temperature meters on the cold output and outside air temperature for this. When you do this, you will notice the hot air temperature for the heating reduces. And uh, for this reason, these portable heat pumps won't work very well at about, below about minus two, minus three degrees C. But thankfully we don't often get temperatures like that in England. Portable heat pumps usually only have one duct that vents cold air out the building. This causes leaks in the building because air has to come in to replace the air blown out by the heat pump. There is a more efficient way to operate these heat pumps and that is called a split system. Another duct can deliver outside air directly to the cold radiator of the heat pump. This keeps inside and outside airs separate, aka split system. The problem with doing this on a portable heat pump is that the cold radiator can get too cold and freeze up with condensate and has there's no way of defrosting itself. So this doesn't work if the air temperature is below five degrees C and foggy. The solution to this is to carefully control the amount of outside air that you feed into the cold radiator. That's what this air box does. Uh, it has a slide valve to limit the amount of outside air and a door to restrict the inside air. I use these controls to keep the cold air exhaust a few degrees below the outside air temperature, but not so cold that the radiator gets blocked by ice. From the measurements I've taken, this seems to improve the efficiency from the 230% efficiency that the manufacturers claim up to about 300% efficient. Portable heat pumps don't usually come with a second duct adapter for ducting into the house as well as out the building. 
and it can be hard to buy direct from the manufacturer a specific adapter for a type of heat pump. So I'm just making an adapter for this side so that I can fit ducting onto it. This one came with grills attached to it, which I didn't want. I wanted to be able to put ducting onto it. So I've taken the grills off and I've got this, this from eBay. I've screwed through the plastic, uh, I pre-drilled it, screwed through the plastic in four places. And I've just stuffed a bit of insulation down there. And I've uh, silver taped, that's aluminium tape on the inside. There we go, I finished it now. So it's, it's duct taped all round. And it's got silver aluminium tape with insulation on the inside. And that's what it looks like. I have found that putting a ratchet strap around the heat pump reduces noise from rattling panels. And it makes it a bit quieter. It's very quiet anyway, even, even with those vibrations. But that makes it silent, pretty silent when you're even standing right next to it. Please like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the heat pump project.